As we eco road trip across this amazing land, we can't forget the rivers we've crossed and the waves crashing beside coastal roads. More than 70% of our planet is covered in water, and more than 96% of that is in our oceans. Unfortunately, 14 million tons of plastic end up in the ocean each year. That waste threatens not only life beneath the surface, but also up here on land. So today, we're following conservationists who are helping marine mammals, those that are suffering because of our pollution. Miles and Matt, if you look. Whoa! And we get to see how some innovative robots are catching the plastic before it makes it out to sea. Well, thankfully we have this robot because we missed all that. I'm Ginger Z, Chief Meteorologist at ABC News. My family and I are hitting the road to help rebuild and get a first-hand look at what it takes to save the planet. We begin in Florida's Crystal River. The goal? Spot a sea cow, an adorable mammal that is currently threatened. Yeah. Who are we gonna see today? Manatees! You know, like the three of us, we really like outdoors. Yeah. Just yeah. a little worried about dad. Dad. <laughs> Everyone's making fun of this hat, but let me tell you something. I'm gonna be the only one without a sunburn neck. Who's ready? Ooh. I feel like I'm just paddling a king right now. This kid. You tired? On our trip down the Crystal River, we saw fish, a turtle. Turtle hanging on the log. You want to go say hi? And even a pirate. Have you seen any manatees today, Captain Jackie? I did. But today, we're here to see the manatee. The Florida manatee has lost more than 20% of their total population in just the last year. Pollution from leaking septics, agricultural and residential fertilizers are feeding algal blooms, which block out the sun and kill much of the seagrass, which is the manatee's main food source. Look, look, look. Miles, look at manatee. Miles, look at manatee. manatee, look. Whoa! This is not just to meet Ben's best friends, the manatees. Love them. It's to celebrate them because they are having a tough time on the other side of Florida. Yeah. Big time issues with water pollution. So we are going to see something that is threatened right now. And that's why they're so important and we have to be very careful around them. I saw it. Yes, you can see her body. Maybe she'll come over and say hello. Conservationists have stepped up efforts to rehabilitate the manatees that are in need of help, even releasing this healthy manatee back to its natural home today. This was a great adventure. This is awesome, and I did not get a sunburn on my neck. Next, we're off to Baltimore's Inner Harbor to meet an innovative, googly-eyed, garbage-eating robot that's helping save our oceans. We are about to do what, gentlemen? We're gonna meet Mr. Trash Wheel. Mr. Trash Wheel. The Inner Harbor Water Wheel, affectionately known as Mr. Trash Wheel, sits at the outlet of the Jones Falls River. That's where we found John Collette, the engineer behind this innovative contraption. Welcome aboard, Thank Mr. Trash much. Wheel. This is the Jones Falls River. It drains a big section of Baltimore County and Baltimore City. And when it rains, all the trash that's on the streets and in the parking lots and in the alleys gets washed down into the storm drains and eventually into the river. And the river brings it down here. This is really the last chance to get it before it spreads out all over the harbor and the Chesapeake Bay and eventually into the Atlantic Ocean. Can we see him in action? We sure can. When do you guys want to do it? He's moving. Oh, he's I see. Moving. We got it. We got it. We got it. So what are you seeing there, Miles? It's a um, recent sea water cup. Yep. And that is so great that it's not going to go into the harbor or into the ocean, right? To date, Mr. Trash Wheel has collected more than 2 million tons of garbage and debris that would have gone into the ocean. And Mr. Trash Wheel's super green. He runs entirely on renewable energy. On a day like today, when we don't have a lot of flow in the river, the solar panels charge batteries. Batteries power pumps, and the pumps dump water up into the buckets of the wheel, and the weight of the water turns the wheel. The turning of the wheel gives us the power to run the rakes and the conveyor. Age, what do you think he sounds like when he's eating? <laughs> the success of Mr. Trash Wheel led to the deployment of three other trash wheels in Baltimore alone. 
and John and his team are looking to build others on the West Coast and in Central America. Can you guys blow cast Mr. Trash Wheel? Yeah. Bye, Mr. Trash Wheel! Keep doing your thing, stay hungry! <laughs> To finish up, we're heading south to Fort Myers Beach, Florida to do some beach cleanup with Alex Schulz, the co-founder of 4Ocean. This is a group that around the world cleans up 20 million pounds of trash already. 4Ocean has human crews all over the world cleaning up trash from beaches and oceans, but now they've teamed up with Poor Lou Marine to get a robotic volunteer called the Bebop. You guys wanna use a robot? Yes! Clean the beach? Let's clean the beach up. I've been wanting to do this with you all forever. You're gonna push this guy just slowly forward. Oh yeah, he's rocking. Okay. So it uses tank tracks and drives around the beach and it'll skim the top surface of the sand and it'll collect plastic and any type of debris that's on the beach. Look it. A uh, candy wrapper. You got cigarette butts. You got bottle caps. Bottle caps, lots of bottle caps, more wrappers. Well, thankfully we have this robot because we missed all that. 4Ocean is on a mission to end the plastic crisis. That means not only cleaning up, but educating people about the terror that single-use plastics have created in our oceans. We sell products made with uh, a portion of plastic that we've collected from the ocean. This is actually the Ocean Drop bracelet, which has little micro microplastic in the actual bezel. And that's that. it's more of that conversation starter. So it not only funds cleanup, but also enables people to have that conversation and say, what is that? This is my idea of family fun on the beach. I'm not joking. I'm so happy. This is the best way to wrap up an eco trip. It really did feel amazing to have the family learning and working together, doing our part. And we really hope that you might join us because we're all in this together. Can you guys give me big high fives for cleaning up the beach? High five. You know who that's too. from? Mother Nature. Well done. And your mommy. And daddy. And daddy. Click on the links below to watch more episodes of Branching Out.